Um, you know, needless to say, I sort of happy with uh, our our team and their uh, you know toughness. And we came in here with uh, with a plan, and um, but it's up to them to believe and fight and hang in there and um, find a way. Uh, I take full responsibility for the end of regulation. Yes, we wanted to miss it. No, I didn't expect him to bank it in. He did, and uh, I failed. I failed to coach my player on one of the oldest tricks in the uh, book, and it almost cost us. Um, so nobody's fault uh, but mine. Now you're down in the dumps, and your shoulders are droopy. Uh, you got the Wildcats, and you, you got the game won. Um, and you got to go overtime and play five more minutes, and uh, right back they come. And um, – a couple of um, really nice possessions offensively. I thought I thought we guarded uh, so very well throughout, um, and uh, we did it again over a five minute period in the uh, in the in the overtime and found a way to win. Huge win for us. Happy happy for our team. Mark Berman, you're unmuted. Uh, Mike, congratulations. Mark, thank you. I like you better when you're muted. You um. Uh, obviously, you get the you, joke. Come on, laugh a little bit. Something. Um, very funny. Uh, Thank you, you. Thank you. Thanks for the recognition. Um, obviously, you know, you could have said no Thursday night to playing Villanova on short notice. You could have said, yeah. "I don't want to yeah. play the best team in the country on, on short notice." You took you took a chance and you did it. Um, you know, did you kind of did you did you think this was possible when you when you said yes? And what helped you beat Villanova? You know, on short notice with little preparation. You know, Mark. I mean, here, here's the here's here's the answer. All right. What if? And I think the probability of it happening is quite good. What if we wake up Friday morning and uh, social media, whatever these guys are looking at all the time? Virginia Tech had an opportunity to play Villanova, and Mike Young said no. That's not going to go over very well with my team, uh, nor should it. Uh, we are here to play. We are here to challenge ourselves. We're here to improve. And um, I was I uh, thrilled that uh, that we you know were matched with Villanova? No, not uh, this early in the season. I saw the BC game. I saw the Arizona State game. But um, you know, let's go. Um, it's uh, it's a different year. You know, needless to say, uh, so we're going to challenge ourselves and uh, we're going to go lay it on the line. And they did exactly that. And I, uh, again, I'm very proud of them. What, 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 what were the keys to kind of, you know, preparing for Villanova and pulling, the, pulling this off on such short notice? Well, I wouldn't recommend it uh, to uh, those of you watching at home. Um, it's, uh, I, I caught myself, I, I do this sometimes, I caught myself in my preparation of watching it as a fan. I was admiring um, their... Um, uh, you know, their stuff, uh, how they play, uh, unselfishly, uh, good looking kids, uh, that, uh, guard, um, so well, uh, schooled, but, um, you know, uh, we got, uh, to them, our team, as much as we could get to them over a short period of time. And then, you know, your instincts take over and I, I've got good basketball players and they, um, uh, they, uh, did some very, very nice things. Again, as I said earlier, on both ends of the floor, I thought. Chris Arvin, you're unmuted. Hey, Coach, uh, just had a question for you. Uh, what what did you what was going through your mind uh, when Beattie fouled out of the game? And I know you talked about it a little bit when you started, but uh, what was your thought when Aluma looked to accidentally make that three? Uh, or that free throw at the end and just that, that whole play afterwards? Um, you know, I, I just – I felt bad. I felt bad because it was my fault. I, I Again, I didn't coach my player. Um, uh, you know, Wabisa was so steady and so good for us over the course of the game. Um, I was um, – you know, I, I – I, I, would rather that didn't happen, but I'm, I'm very comfortable. I think you always, you better always have two and a half point guards and uh, Hunter Couture uh, can uh, slide back there. He got those foul shots down. He knows exactly what uh, we want to uh, run in those uh, instances. Um, you know, we had two point guards foul out. He's got to uh, step to the plate and, and do his thing. And he did, uh, he did just that proud of him. Thanks coach. David Teal, you're unmuted. 
Mike, does out-rebounding Villanova by 10 and outscoring them by 10 in the paint reflect how different this team can be from last seasons? I hope so, Dave. Um, I hope so. I mean, those two st statistics, I'm not sure we ever out-rebounded anyone. I'm not sure we ever out-scored uh, uh, another team, certainly not in the Atlantic Coast Conference, uh, in the paint. Um, that's what I'm comfortable with. That's how I've always wanted to play. Um, you know, all the um, um, all these uh, numbers that uh, people talk about and, um, you know, tough twos and all this stuff. Give me a, give me a two feet uh, in the paint, post up, catch and score any day of the week. And um, Aluma's come a long way now. I, I was kidding with him. He's standing over here uh, next to me. I'm not sure he scored 23 points in the first half of his uh, freshman year for me uh, before, but um, he um, he's a great person and uh, he's worked his tail off and he's got a big old body and uh, great hands and uh, just had a just had a really good uh, game uh, for us as did several others, Dave. Patrick Eaton, Rob, you're unmuted. Thanks, Coach. Can you said you had a plan um, against Villanova, but how do you how do you have a plan with a day to pre prepare? And did it kind of help your kids to uh, you know to to go into this game without having to think about that too much? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm not going to divulge a bunch of uh, company secrets uh, here. You know, there's nothing, no, Patrick. Nothing, uh, you know, earth shattering. All right. Um, certainly not on a, a one day prep. Uh, we did have some time today because of the eight o'clock start, but, um, you know, there's nothing um, that uh, they're going to write any, uh, you know, articles about in our preparation. Um, here's what they're, uh, we're going to see. Here's how we'd like to guard it. We got to stay down on shot fakes. We got to stay down on Gillespie and, and um, uh, more in the uh, post when they get to the paint and shot fake and uh, pivot. Um, and we got to rebound like, crazy um surprised we out rebounded them 10 yep i am but um you know again just another um uh pat on the back to uh to my uh, to my team and coach you did this last year to michigan state what is it about uh, you guys playing top five teams early in the season you know um i i don't i don't really know um just you know not changing anything not you know, getting them all fired up, you know, and we're going to play tomorrow, uh, hopefully the same way we played today, uh, just good basketball, um, you know, with kids that share and kids that uh, take, uh, take good shots. I thought we took very few bad shots. We did take a couple. I think maybe we expect that in game two, uh, but I thought uh, all in all, defensively, I thought we were just really good. And uh, offensively, I thought our execution was, um, you know, pretty darn solid against a terrific defensive team. Those guys, uh, Jay does a nice job across the board, but uh, defensively, uh, there's not a lot of chinks in that armor. Norm Wood, coach's last questions for you. What do you say, Norm? Hey, Mike, you hear me, man? I hear you fine. What went through your head as Mutz and Moore make contact under the basket with 1.3 seconds left? And what were you told by officials as to why that call was reversed? You know, Norm, I, I, it, it infuriated me. Uh, but uh, Lee Castle's a good official, okay? And he came over and he said, Mike, my partner is, uh, you know, giving me information. I got tangled up and uh, I, got it, I got it wrong. Now, um, you know, I think uh, rightfully so. I uh, had a bit of an outburst there. He caught it on five white. Um, but, you know, I go back and look at it, uh, not, not tonight, uh, but sometime soon, I think, I think you got it right. And again, for a third time, Norm, that was on me. Uh, that was on me. I did not coach that. I just expected Kev A to miss it. He tried. He banked the darn thing in. Uh, so, you know, doggone it. Thank goodness it didn't cost us, Norm, and that can cost us. That, uh, that, can, that can bite you in the rear end. Thank goodness it didn't.